Well, we're coming up to Foxdale, right to the, the mines. It's a very exposed area on the Sunday morning. With me is uh, Paddy. And uh, I've been following this uh, online. There's, there's quite a lot of dissent, at least, because you guys you, you use this all the time for your uh, pleasure, for your, yeah. for your, your motorcycling. Um, as from tomorrow, Monday, yes. uh, there's a ban on coming up here. And over to you, why? What's happened? Well, apparently it, it was uh, made public on Thursday night through uh, Facebook that the Russian mines snuff the wind was to close on Monday. Uh, reasons given apparently something to do with the silt issues in Peel, Peel Harbour. Um, which personally, if something was that dangerous, why put it off to Monday to close it? Why not make that decision on the Thursday? Uh, is this all the toxic stuff that's, the, in, that's come out of the mines and it's going down the, in leeches and that sort of thing? Apparently it's ending up in, in yeah. Peel Harbour, the silt, etc, etc. So uh, basically we're here today to try and uh, voice a little uh, opinion. You've been doing this for years, right? Yes. So yeah. this is a health and safety, someone's come up with this, have they? Apparently someone has said that they, they believe, I don't think it's been proven yet, no. but uh, they believe that the silt and the issues could be laid in the air coming from up here at Russian Lines. I mean, this is obviously a great place you do it. It's out of the way, it's not disturbing people, and, uh, well, just shows the other man off to what people can do. Have you got an alternative? You've got the places you can go if this does, well, when it closes? No, this is the issue we have at the moment. Um, I say this has been available to us for a very long time. It's my little fella who started to ride when he's three, he's now 13. Um, there's a gentleman I know in Port Erin. He's 70 years old. He's been riding here for years. He's in absolute amazing health, no issues whatsoever. The only concern we do have is if, if it does close and there's no other way around it, we would like the government to free up some land somewhere yeah. else that we could use. Because uh, let's face it, what's, what we believe um, could happen is with the green lanes, with all these kids, parents and motorbikes, it's going to possibly force everyone onto green lanes, which will end up being yeah, illegal. of course, yeah, and that's not allowed because there's licensing, licensing issues, issues there, issues, but yes. people want to go and play with their motorbikes somewhere. Yes, and how, do, how does this be policed if everyone takes to headlands? And, yeah. and recently, motocross riders have been getting, getting bad publicity because of the Kirk Michael and the headlands, etc., yeah. etc., et you know what I mean? Why spoil? Why do away with something here which is free riding, no harm, it's accessible for a lot of people and it's just, look at the backdrop, that is yeah. just absolutely incredible. So hopefully, if, if they do close it then possibly they could free up some other land for us to use. What about consultation? I mean normally these things go through people giving notice they want to change it. You, you heard nothing? I mean there's been no official words? Or there's been this? absolutely nothing. None nothing. of those signs put on the things? No, to say absolutely yeah. nothing. And I was in talks a few years ago to try and take a lease out on the site yeah. and I got so far with it and the same thing, just no, it can't happen. You might be led in the air, etc, etc. And I don't, I don't believe, but it's, uh, it needs to be proven. They need to do some scientific evidence to see, is this the issue? So the first thing's first, you want to put a moratorium on this. You want to keep it open until you, at least a, a debate has yes, taken place? Yes, yes. They, they say it's going to close on Monday, but I mean, I, I, don't think I, I don't think that's very fair. To make a decision on a Thursday. If it was that dangerous, why wasn't it closed on the Thursday when they made that decision? Why did they leave it open to the Monday? You know, if it's dangerous, then that's clearly an issue. And have you had any health issues or anything? Oh, no, 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 nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, You've been here for some time? We've been riding here for years and lots of friends do as well. I've come up all weathers, just not the summertime, we're up in the wintertime, we're up all times. And it's one of the fantastic little places left on the island. Well, Well, we wish you well. And I hope you heard all that because it's obviously very exposed here. We're getting blown around quite a lot. But it is an amazing uh, place, isn't it? It is lovely, lovely. And I mean, it keeps the kids off the streets. You know, kids here with motorbikes, if no, you can buy a kid a motorbike, you're not, a, you're not interested in anything else, that's what they want to do. And if you look around today, there's been a load of people back and forward, and it's all ages, it's not young kids, it's old people, there's myself, I'm not very young. <laughs> <laughs> but I think hopefully the, the government, if this, if this goes out and they can, they can yeah. look at this and e- even put in a proper consultation, give it plenty of time, see what's happening and investigate it, because it's just another another thing that's just going to lie idle and it's going to say it's going to force the, the, the bike riders onto other lands headlands etc etc and that's going to be a bigger issue for wildlife so i think they should reconsider this